I have no freaking idea. Do I see chat? I close chat. Chat is connected. Do I see anything else over here? No, I don't see anything else over here. What I'm seeing over here? Ah, I can see a bit the action of other people. Can we do it in this way? About donate, I, I need to have multiple iPad? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Let's keep it like this. I think I need to work out on the configuration of this when I go live, right? Which is a bit silly. Hmm. Let me think, what if I do over here? We have editor. Oh, we have alert port, chatterbox, have edit list. Great. So we have everything, so everything is fine. Just me, they need to start to make real content. Simple as that. Simple as that. Well, let's start with like something very simple. Kitchen stream. This is my kitchen stream and I need to take some water because I just realized that I'm starting and I'm freaking thirsty. And most funny enough, I have my black pepper in the fridge. Ah, it's super cold. I don't know why I did that. It just like was a mistake. Hello everyone. This is a little too much with another obvious silly experiment in chat, which is, uh, it's been a long time they're not doing this. I don't know where to look with the camera because there is an actual freaking camera on the iPad. So he's over here. Over there. Hello. Over there. No, over there. Yeah, I'm even worried about the cables. They is on the other side. It's kind of kind of pulling. And I need to be sure that every time they decide to do a distance or something is bad. What happen if I show you my back? Do I show my ass? No. Do I show my belly? Yes. It's too much. And I need to do other things, by the way. I need to pick up. The trash, which I have over here, a proper trash bag, because we need to throw the eggs that we need to make. Buen Pepe, hello from Spain. Hola, señor, bienvenido. Eh, ¿Cómo vas, Pepe? Cheers, I'm just drinking some water. I'm gonna speak English just because like, I have a lot of friends that uh, they're gonna come online and uh, uh, you can see the isolation uh, doesn't help. I'm from Italy but like uh, I live in Barcelona. You can see on my down information on the dashboard that I cannot see because I'm online. So I want to make carbonara today. We have pecorio which is a particular Mmm, the smell, uh, kind of good cheese. We have some uh, smoked bacon. Black pepper that I don't know why I left it uh, in, uh, in the fridge. I guess I forgot it that the day when uh, I was sprinkling on the salmon. But like you can see, even if it's inverted, you can perfectly read pimienta negra, don't you? Out of curiosity, do you see it inverted? Or do I see it? Or is it just like me that see it correctly? Like, I'm wondering about this. And welcome. Where are you from? If you are from Spain. I'm in Barcelona. No, you can it perfectly. So it just inverted for, for myself. Perfect. Like, see, Bemming Goods. I'm in Barcelona. Pretty clear. With a Catalan. You're in Cadiz, oh man. That's nice, Cadiz. Uh, it's one of my favorite places uh, uh, in the world. Uh, not Cadiz himself, but like the whole region of Andalusia. It's just amazing. Ciao, a good stream, brother. Hey, Sonny. Hi, how are you doing? We, we, I'm doing something that I don't do since a long time, which is like 
if you keep watching the I need to put something here like a little sticker just say watch over here here's the camera uh, I am just gonna cook some carbonara but before doing any cooking I need to wash some bloody dishes just saying are you cooking going we need to start we just started now because later on we have a stream with I just bought for some nice satisfactory game and I definitely want to play it. I want to play with my stomach full. I didn't launch any things. <laughs> oh, damn, this is annoying. Yes. Uh, yesterday we cooked uh, with my wife uh, some nice uh, squid rings with some beautiful smoked salmon. No smoked salmon, sorry, salmon in the oven. And we did uh, the salmon with obviously a sprinkle of black pepper, a touch of olive oil and a touch of salt and it was freaking delicious it was like something to lick your finger but unfortunately with the things with fish uh, they, they smell in fact today I didn't wash and I regret it because it's smelling quite a bit so I need to clean it seems nice yeah well seafood is always amazing so let me finish I'm sorry if I start the stream in this way you're gonna see just my big belly probably uh, let me get close to the camera but I don't think I can close Get closer more like this, but over here, maybe over here, so I can see my face. I can see my face. There is too much light, really, because as you can see, uh, over here, I'm lucky to have a, a beautiful terrace uh, with a couple of plants. Mostly, my wife is taking care. Yeah, exactly. Luckily, it's not on the board. We didn't have to chop, but yeah, uh, it, it stay on the frying pan. And we have some basil, some mint, and just to be sure that nothing bothers us, we even have uh, uh, some lavender that uh, looks like that uh, it keep away. Oddly so, because lavender is not so good. It keep away some uh, unwanted creatures uh, from outside. Uh, I have 300 pieces of light. You saying I cost five, so I can make your <laughs> 60 times I. Well, that's true. Well, you don't have to make me say, Pepe. Actually, if you read the description, you just say I on the stream at the moment because I'm on iPad. I cannot see the much the, 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 the lights, but it's just like to to trigger conversation to people that just arrive on the stream and they are quite shy. So because of this reason, I put it there and I saw that like, you know, when you're streaming, the most uh, negative things is knowing that there is no one there and you need to keep talking. And this is a kind of little way to start people talking and you ask questions and say, hey, how is your day? How are you doing? By the way, how bloody hot is in Cadiz right now? Because like I'm a bit sweating and it's still the uh, freaking afternoon uh, and uh, uh, well now is there is shadow on this part of the house so I don't have any problem but a spice and herb makes everything better. Exactly Sonny. Spice and herbs always make something better like the uh, hundred percent of the time. Like most people don't understand that we Italian love our tomato sauce just because when you add a bit of basil or you make more like a, uh, a pizza sauce which is with garlic and oregan uh, the flavor completely change in the sauce and that give to the pasta and it's super tasty really like 55 degrees or something like that oh well quite warm and it's not I guess even the highest that you get there 53 right now well I guess everyone has uh, AC air conditioning uh, over there let me start to wash if you don't mind, guys. Uh, and unfortunately, the text is so small that at a certain point I need to stop and check it out. Let's start with the small things to wash. By the way, I'm a little too mad. Uh, but in reality, my nickname is uh, Little Mad. But unfortunately, because I was dumb enough that many years ago, I created an account on Twitch and then I forgot the password uh, I cannot just recuperate it anymore and so I I was quite angry uh, at the time angry meaning of upset not starving and I decided to make a little too mad but anyway uh, because I have things on Steam on Twitter everything's like little mad I have to recreate my identity just adding the bloody two between little and mad but like everyone can call me little, it's much easier. Uh, I play video games. Uh, like everyone else that is male and does an IT job, I'm a web designer. 
Uh, and luckily, I'm not in Leida at the moment because, as you know, in Spain, Leida, there is a lot of COVID cases and they close it again. But luckily, through video games and through the love of my wife, I survive quite a bit here at home, especially because having a terrace makes uh, a big difference. So, and now we're streaming. I'm streaming because I love streaming. I love to share things. I love to make, especially talk about food. Like, you, you can see me. I'm quite rounded. And, uh, and I love talking. So, it's a way to keep myself company and make friends, really. Okay. And this couple of dishes is done. Quite quick. Let me check it out. What's your favorite game? My favorite game ever, uh, because I'm a very old guy, even if it doesn't look like. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, uh, played for the first time on a PlayStation 1. And I know they come out as an emulator, but I hate mobile games, so I will never allow myself to play on it. But. I still need to find a way to uh, re-emulate it on the PC. I own uh, a Switch, I own uh, a PlayStation 4, uh, and uh, I'm looking forward for PlayStation 5, not because of PlayStation 5, because I don't care, but Demon's Soul, because I'm even a, a huge uh, Dark Soul fan. If you see still down on the dashboard, uh, Dear Pepe, you can see all the kind of games that I like, and I play quite a lot. You can find me easy on even on uh, on Steam. I don't think I put a link, but you could see I have a huge list of games. Oh, did I call it? Start some programming with C plus. Oh, cool. Uh, C plus is actually quite different than web design. I would say the web design is easier in certain way because it's more uh, about uh, XML. Do you know about XML? Uh, it's about more tagging, but like the difficulties is about. Uh, then you need to think always in terms of layout. You need to think always in terms of responsiveness because the page never fixed like a page on a book. Uh, actually can move around, it can increase in size. So you need to think about that kind of flexibility. Flexibility is like being an architect of a building and keep shrinking and keeping expanding. Uh, quite dangerous. But <laughs> luckily it's not a building, it's just a, a web page. And uh, I'm surprised. I feel that like nowadays, uh, C plus uh, is not the main uh, programming language. But I don't know. Uh, I'm recently, obviously, because I'm more of a designer, improving my React. Uh, React is a programming language for face developed by Facebook for obviously their own platform, and and to post instantly, instantaneously. Uh, Ajax style on the on the web, whatever there is a modification made on the node. Well, I don't want to bore you with work, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, uh, once you learn uh, the basic concept of programming, uh, the the problem as usual is just knowing uh, the classic, uh, you know, grammar, what you need to manipulate an object. But React is quite different with respect to object programming because uh, it works much more in terms of nodes, which is uh, quite, quite, quite different. I'm an expert on, uh, on interface design, on usability, accessibility, so for uh, anyone that uh, need uh, to make a website, obviously, they need to be accessible for people that have uh, impairing condition, physical condition. Uh, and I'm an expert as well on graphic design, but not, let's say, logo, because logo is more about branding. I'm much more related to, like I say, to interfaces. So sometimes it happens that I need to do flyers, sometimes it happens that I need to do logo. In fact, if you see all the things on the dashboard, uh, I did it myself, designed myself, but at the moment I'm still working on uh, Rethinking and redesign everything from scratch just because uh, I feel this bit inconsistent uh, and nothing, it's just perfection in modern designer. Really, come on, couple of things more and I'm done. And by the way, if 
thank you for being here. Like, it's really make it uh, <laughs> more enjoyable to me just cook pasta for myself. Oh, I work with Unity. Yeah, exactly. Unity, I know this very good because Unity uh, very good for software and for multi-platform. So I didn't know the C plus, C sharp, sorry, is working with uh, with Unity. Ah, interesting. Uh, their own thing, really good API and forums. Yeah, I think the Unity is good for everything nowadays. I hear uh, a lot of gaming industry as well is working with Unity as a base, so they can uh, publish the platform uh, on PlayStation, on consoles, and on PC. The only things I hate about that, when they think about the design about something that is for console, you can feel it right away on the PC. And that is so damn frustrating, because like, uh, you know, uh, it's clear a, a, a game that needs a, a joypad, and it's not pointing with the mouse, and it has weird controller keys on the, on the te teclado. See, it doesn't even come out keyboard sometimes in my mouth. Living so many years in Spain that uh, I'm confusing languages. Does it happen to me often to confuse between uh, want to see one word in Italian and it comes out another? It's just a pain. Let me finish these two things and then we start to do the real stuff, which is isn't food. Anyway, which one is your favorite? Uh, let's say pasta dish, because we're talking about pasta dishes today. Or what is your favorite game as well? pressure on the water, all the water is going everywhere. This is because I'm bottom from Bolognese, I guess. Uh, have you tried any other kind of special spaghetti? Have you tried uh, aglio, olio e peperoncino? Which I don't think you can find nowadays pretty much everywhere, but it's a very basic dish, which is garlic, olive oil and chili peppers. And it's quite spicy. But it's the kind of things that there is always in every Italian house. So, so all the time you can always find chili, you can always find olive oil, always find garlic, and it's perfect like fast spaghetti. I could do it even right now. Your favorite game is Celeste. Oh, I know Celeste. I have it on the Switch. I got stuck in a point, and I don't think this is very healthy for my Switch <laughs> uh, stick joystick. Because they are so fragile that uh, I really think I'll throw in one because I was trying to to, to react uh, too quickly to some event. So I'm stuck on Celeste. But I I like uh, I'm a speedrunner in a platformer that I don't know if you heard about it, it's called Noita. I really suggest you to check it out. I have even a link with a banner, you don't have to buy it, but you can check it out over there. Yeah, it's very good. It's actually a survival. And he's, uh, I will call it uh, a pixel, a simulator, a pixel simulator of explosion or a explosion pixel simulator, something like this. Uh, it's beautiful. He has his own sandbox and it, it could be tough for the first times, but then uh, they, we have a big community over there. We are all friends and we play and we enjoy ourselves and we challenge each other. I pass it on his switch and peace and I love it. In Switch, okay, okay. Uh, I find uh, the Switch great for traveling. When my addiction for gaming uh, doesn't disappear, and I can carry the game with me. But unfortunately, nowadays, with the release of Animal Crossing, which I played, my wife completely took over the Switch. <laughs> I barely able to to touch anymore the switch, and I should have to <laughs> try to take possession again of the switch or probably buy another one. It's one or the other, really. 
But yeah, anyway, we share the island on Animal Crossing and it's fun. It's not fun only when she tried to steal my money tree. They try to cultivate the love and passion for pure greed of every more money. <laughs> but it's okay. Ah. So, uh, for cooking a proper carbonara, we need a proper Italian spaghetti. Only for one reason. You know, Pepe, that in Spain uh, you have this brand called Gallo. Or Gallo, I don't know how you call it. Uh, but Gallo, unfortunately, is not that good for one particular reason. Not because Italian is better, it's not because of that. Uh, it's just because uh, when you cook the pasta, you wanted what is called al dente, which is kind of a certain level between uh, smoothness and uh, hardness of the texture of the pasta itself. So you want to do it in a certain kind of, uh, you know, uh, it's not too soft, but it's not too hard. And, and this one is one of that you can cook it maybe a couple of minutes, a bit more, but it doesn't go bad. It's for reason they would say that most of the pasta is a little bit better from Italian because they know they do it in this way. This way, for example, is uh, hard grain, so it's a bit more harder than normal, and I like it quite, quite a bit. I like a C, but not for me, but people who like it at least spend... Oh, yes, yes, because it's not a game that you do in a rush. Uh, Animal Crossing is a game that you do uh, a little bit every day, you know, like, uh, and I like it. It is very chill chilling out games. It's just like relaxing. But in reality, then I discovered that it is much more about bartering because you need to go to the island of your friend and then you say, "Hey, I have these apples. Can you give me your peaches? Come on, come on, let's exchange. What else do you have? That what? What kind of problem do you want?" And uh, so it's fun to to then show off your island, your decoration and things to other people. It's like when in real life, no? When you have guests that come at home and you are... Okay, come, come over. Uh, let me show my terrace. Uh, let me show you this corner, this living room. <laughs> Just in digital form. So we have pasta. In this case, it's La Molisana. I don't know if they sell it uh, down there, but like... Uh, I find it, I think, uh, in Condis for a while and then disappeared and now luckily they have an Italian shop not too far away that by coincidence is importing even this one and then break it so but before doing the pasta we need to fill the water flexing peaches exactly flexing peaches by the way your English is very good Pepe congrats do you have a lot of foreigner when you practice too or or just like a good, good school. Una buena escuela española del sur. Imagino que ahora puede escuchar mucho mejor mi castellano. Terrible. Siempre estoy con guiris. Hablando todo el tiempo en inglés. Mi, mi mujer es turca. Entonces. <laughs> I'm always speaking English, more or less, with her. Because at the time she wasn't speaking Spanish. So we have the water, I need big salt. So I put a, a kind of a little uh, fist of, uh, of big salt in there, which like, uh, I want the salt to melt in the water, and once it melts in the water, it's just like, uh, Pass then the flavor, a bit of the saltiness without being too salty to the pasta itself. Uh, I need to turn on the fire. I think that would be definitely helpful. But before I do that, uh, another thing that I want to prepare is the bacon. As you can see, I have smoked bacon here. Uh, I bought it a little, not very happy about it, but here in Spain I'm finding it difficult to find a decent place where I can take uh, the very, very, very tasty smoked bacon. But it, it's my fault because I didn't really even search into art to, to, to look for it for a good quality. Thanks, I, I've been with my English one life from a lot of places like Girl from Estonia. Oh, great, yeah. Absolutely, you're welcome. Sometimes I'm worried if I talk with a Spanish person in English there I'm talking too fast. I lived as well in England 
and it was the reason I, I now think in English really all the time. I just lived four years, which is not too much, but uh, it make me, you know, get used to thinking English. And then I watch TV series in English, you know, Netflix and chill. Uh, so I'm used to it. So, uh, out of curiosity, because like I always dream to live. Uh, down uh, in Sevilla, I, uh, well, in Sevilla, sorry, in uh, Andalusia, uh, and uh, I actually visited various time. Uh, uh, I think the only place that I didn't visit, what it was, I don't remember what was the city. I visited everything. I think Cordoba, Granada, Marbella, Cadiz. Uh, I don't remember. I had my cousin, my primo, that is living there in uh, nearby La Linea next to Gibraltar, so I've been even there, which is nothing special, but I didn't mean Gibraltar actually, but you know, it's another really nation, technically speaking. Uh, uh, I'm curious about uh, uh, the style of life, what is a typical day? Because like everything is, is very hot, but like as well tourism is very intense during summer. And now I guess it's very different summer, so it must be very chill. Even here in Barcelona it's quite uh, chill with respect to normal. And I like it, I freaking like it. What's well, Spanish English is bad because I was cool here, yeah. Well, in Italy the same. I, when I was little, I love uh, I always call it English, very much. But I had a teacher that she ate the guts of me. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and it made me hate English. Ate it very much. Only when I go and live in the UK, I, mm, I'm gone and I like it. This is, not, this is very industrial bacon, which I'm not very happy about it. But more or less you cut it in this way. You take the big uh, chunk of bacons, then you cut, you slice it in this kind of things, not in cubes, but in a big string, and uh, and then you fry a little bit, because obviously you want to be cooked for when you need to put in the pasta. So now let me move the camera a bit over here. I have a weird size of a, of, a, of a kitchen, which is very small. Perfect. So you can see the dish. And I'm gonna start to turn on the water and start to prepare this while I'm mixing the eggs. Perfect. So we cover the water. We have here the bacon that is gonna be done. We'll take a jug, and in here we have, for one person, I will say the three, four eggs is enough, but because I really like the sauce of the eggs in the carbonara, I like to put an extra. So five is a bit too much, but I'm gonna make a big portion for three, four people. Uh, so we have extra food for tomorrow, really, we need to go back to work. So I'm gonna cook the wall 500 grams, but first of all I want to mix this properly. So I'm breaking the eggs, and maybe if I take the bag of the trash from here, it would be easier to trash it for a moment. I'm ready from how I break these eggs. I don't like the eggs that we bought. It feels like very cheap. Uh, I don't know how to describe this, but you know, there are different kind of quality of eggs and uh, the color looks good, but the consistency of the shell when it breaks, not so happy. It feels that it's a bit uh, industrial, if you know what I mean. And let me rinse one second my hand. A little piece of a shell that just drop. Can I find it? Oh no. 
Yeah, I found it. And, he, and he's out. Perfect. Saved. Then you take a fork, you take the eggs that you can see over here, and you just whip it. So everybody from near city come here to see. So there are too much people and it's kind of bad, but I think they they give them money. Well, yes. Tourist place, I guess, Cadiz. I love Cadiz. Cadiz reminds me a lot of a small uh, uh, place. I'm from south of Italy, so we are southerner, both of us, Pepe. And uh, I love very much the, 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 the feeling that you have of Cadiz as a nice city where you can walk, especially the dog part, it's very nice. And we have a similar city called Gallipoli, which is not a city, but let's say is uh, a small pueblo, small village, and uh, and Cadiz give me a lot of that kind of vibe because it's a city surrounded by water all the side, and so Gallipoli it is the same, absolutely the same. Let me lower the flame of this because I want to cook it slowly. I'm gonna move a bit the bacon because I want to be cooked evenly. So, we mix the eggs, and what we do, we take uh, possibly, I prefer fresh pepper, to be crushed, it tastes yeah, it, you smell it as well more, yeah, mm -hmm. so I put some black pepper in here, because I want to mix it properly. because I want the flavor of the black pepper mixed with eggs and then I take a special bowl this is a Turkish little decorated bowl which I quite like and I take the pecorino romano so the pecorino romano pecorino is a goat and goat is what is in Spanish goat? Uh, ovella, yeah, ovella, and uh, it's very salty as a cheese, but it's uh, it's quite good, and it's go very perfect with the tasty of the carbonara. So we just need to grate it. Is what we gonna do right now. We take a grater. And I don't know if you can see it, it's even a bit uh, sweaty on the camera. Yeah, yeah you can see it a little bit. Mmm, the, the, the smell is very strong. Uh, I'm not gonna grate it with the smallest one. I'd rather do it with the big one. Because anyway, it's gonna melt with the heat of the pasta in the end. And this is the classic labor job that you do in terms of grating. Do you like to cook, Pepe? What is your favorite dish? I remember when I was in Cadiz as well, uh, I tried something different. I think it's typical from Andalusia, which he, he was a kind of uh, gambas, gamberones. I don't remember what is the name exactly, but it was a fried a uh, small fish make uh, in a kind of uh, circular uh, like it looks it's circular like a cookies but it's more kind of a fried uh, delicatessen and I like it very very much I, I like even the flamenquito but does the Cadiz have any things uh, Super special that other city don't have apart obviously the beautiful seafood. Perfect. We have uh, quite a bit of good cheese in here. As you can see, it looks very, very lovely and it smells even better. 
So let's put this back in the bag. I'm gonna put immediately in the fridge because I don't want that this go bad because it's quite good cheese and difficult to find. is doing. I want it a little bit more crispy than it is. You can see it. Still can be cooked a little bit more. It dropped too much fat for me, but okay. This is industrial bacon, which I think they feel it too, too much with water, really. Because I remember bacon drop fat, but not so much. And normally I would put some cheese in the air to help mix it a little bit more and still to give taste. But my wife is allergic to cheese. She has uh, lactose intolerance, so I have to separate the process. So I just mix the black pepper. And if you like salty food like me, you just add uh, a pinch of salt in here, but ju just really a pinch because you don't need to do more. Because with water, salt, and the go the pecorino, already the the dish will come salty. And all the magic of the carbonara is nothing else. It's not even the eggs. It's really the combo of black pepper and uh, the goat cheese. In fact, there is another dish called uh, Grisha. Grisha, in which like is the same thing of carbonara but without the eggs. So you still use the pancetta, uh, the bacon, the smoked bacon. You still use the goat cheese and you do a nice spaghetti. Uh, the other thing is important to say about the carbonara that I think everyone else do it very wrongly is that people um, add the nata. Uh, in Spain, uh, nata is just kind of whipped cream, and uh, because like they want a kind of a nice and liquid uh, uh, taste of the carbonara. What you need to do instead is something quite, quite, quite different. And oh, and my phone is ringing. I need to go and check it out, guys. Give me a second. People looking for my wife. Obviously, she's more popular than me. But not true, because I'm gonna be popular on the internet. Yeah! So, technically, I have more advantage to know more people. I joined your Discord, but I got to go. But I want to watch more your stream, your night. Absolutely, Pepe. Thank you, absolutely. And uh, you did well. Uh, you will see the VOD of this, obviously, when it's finished, and, uh, and welcome to the family. Uh, jokes uh, of Mafia, obviously included. And uh, hasta pronto. I'm gonna show you the result. And uh, you'll tell me if you like it or not. I'm gonna make even a couple of photos and put it on Discord. For Wells Remain, the trick of the, of the sauce carbonara is simply this. It's just like, uh, don't put any bechamella, nata, milk. You just need to put a little bit 
Uh, I would say a couple of spoon maybe. And when I'm talking about spoon, I'm talking about this kind of spoon. Of the water, you because it has amid in it, you put it with the eggs and then you put it with the pasta. And the heat of the hot water plus the heat of the pasta, when you put with the with the eggs, whipped eggs, it will make cook automatically the eggs slowly on the rest of the pasta. Obviously, it means that you have to leave the dish to rest for uh, three minutes, I would say. And, uh, and then it will give that kind of nice flavory liquid of eggs but still at the same time it will be not a cooked egg which is like obviously it makes uh, uh, the taste uh, very very different but yeah more or less this is the stroke the bacon is done I'm gonna turn off uh, this one so we have the bacon and actually, I don't like all these oils, so I'm gonna try to keep just the bacon, but drop the bad oil. Which is gonna be quite challenging with just a spoon. Yeah, in fact, I don't think I'm gonna be able. Uh, so, I need to take something else to filter it. say something like this is it, it, good enough just one more thing to clean perfect we shake it a bit so all the oil will go out we even rinse it to be sure that the bite oil go out. And now we have the bacon. And I can leave it in there, no problem. But the water is a little boiling. So, I'm gonna show you the other trick. And the other trick is how you throw the pasta in the water. And you think, do you need to throw the pasta in the water in a particular way? Well, there is, a, there is a way with spaghetti to make it very, very, very easy. And I'm gonna show you. You just have this, and then you twist it. Whoops! You twist it, and you drop it. And when you drop it, now the twist didn't come very well this time, but it open up. And by opening up, it's easier with this kind of tool to just like slowly and gently push it down into the water so the whole pasta you get cooked evenly. And you don't push it too hard because like it's getting softer on the bottom, otherwise exactly it breaks. When everything is done, then we just need to wait that uh, the pasta to get ready. Perfect. And all the pasta is now. At least, at least a couple of spaghetti that really doesn't want to go down. So, normally in only decent uh, spaghetti pasta, there is a, a time for which the, 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 the spaghetti are cooked. And in, but like most of the time I do it by myself. But in this case, if you read the cottura, cottura it means cooking, and it's 30 minutes. So, you have to wait 30 minutes more. So he's 44, let's say a 43, I put it, so uh, when he's timing 56, he's done. 
But we can do another thing in, in my wire. First, we need to lower the flame because if it's too high, uh, all the amid of the water is gonna boil out. We're gonna keep moving a little bit so it doesn't stick to the walls of the pot. I don't know what you call it. Is the walls of the pot? The, the interior, let's call it. And then we need to take a, a sieve ready to pick this and put in here. So, like I say, we have now the black pepper eggs. You can see it. I don't want to show it, bend it too much, otherwise I'm gonna put it down. We got the nice pecorino. Mm. And nothing, we just wait. So, let me check it out uh, if this has uh, anything in particular in here that we can do on the chat. No, not, not nothing. I can see that I can see the events, like if people are followed or subscribed. Uh, but current giveaway, giveaway history. We have, we have a quite a big of stuff in here, but alerts master volume. Do we have alerts as well in volume? Wow, I really need to play with this. Do I have the volume on on these things? The is iPad, as you can see, I don't use iPad at all. I don't see volume. Ah, yeah, I see the volume. So we, we want the volume on the maximum. Wow, I cannot really touch the, the volume thing. Ah, it's going down now. No, I'm going down. No, we want it up. Perfect. And set alerts master volume. Can we set an alert? Okay. Let me, can, can we adjust this? It doesn't let me. Ah, I need to push this at the same time. So I... <laughs> okay, I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm torturing just like the controls in here. Aha, because we can put TTS. Interesting. Credit setting, configure widget. We can roll credits, wow, we can roll credits, I'm interested. So, I can see that this is still need to improve, I would say. People have subscription, filters, okay, okay, there is uh, quite a bit of things that you can do. But, not completely all that I want. I would like that I can do something more, like editor. You have the event list. Can can we add something interesting? Donation thing alert box. No, I would like that it was something. I really would like that you can do something more than that. Anyway. Looks like we don't. And I'm really sweating. Wow. I think I need to do another shower tonight. Before streaming. So, we're moving a bit the pasta. I got the bacon. I'm gonna put the bacon with eggs, even if I shouldn't normally. Just because I wanna start to wash stuff that later on I will be streaming. And I will not have time to do anything. Because we are playing with Arias bot. And I'm very happy to play with him. On Satisfactory. Satisfactory is a great freaking game that I'm currently quite addicted to. And this is dangerous because when you find the game that you like, you kind of never want to stop. Uh, and that is ridiculous. Because uh, there is a life and then there is video games. And unfortunately, I would like that my life was video games, but uh, it's not reality, is it? So, on the corner you can see the pasta that he's doing, perfect, 
And in the meanwhile, I can probably wash this before I need to throw the pasta. What is this here? Uh, Bacon is good. Let me reduce the pressure. And this is very oily, so some soap. And while the pasta is preparing, we wash as we go so we don't have too much to clean. And we have a fly that came us and keep us company. I just don't want to miss uh, when the pasta is ready. Yeah, like four minutes more, four and a half. I am starving, guys. I don't know you, but I am definitely starving. And there's another particular magic on the spaghetti. Uh, if you, every time you break it, it turns always in three pieces. Uh, apart this time, because my, my hands are wet. I guess the piece is very small. But if you do with a big spaghetti, always uh, in three pieces. So, even if in reality now I should have done the song like wah, 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 fails on stream. We need a dish, we need a plate, we need to put our spaghetti. And I think... I really, really think that I should show up my uh, Japanese pottery yeah, because I can. This is like like a snow porcelain, just, I love it. This is for the noodles, you can see the kind of dish that you can put like nice soup noodles. And I could use a normal plate, but I repeat, it's a good way to show off my dishes. And I think I'm going to use this one. This one as well is for noodles, but I like it putty because I need to mix it a bit. And I want to mix it properly. Actually, I have so much pasta that I cannot mix it in there. I have to mix it somewhere else. Uh, I think that I have to mix it. In a bowl, yeah. What we're we gonna do? We're we gonna mix it in here. I normally do a smaller portion, and I forgot. Yo, you need help? Ah, <laughs> Jojo, Jojo six six six. Do I look like I need help? And welcome, Pecorino Romano. Do you know what is this? This is Evan, Evan in in scales. Ready to be eaten, but only on the proper pasta dish. We have our eggs ready in here with black pepper and everything. I cannot show you more, otherwise I'm gonna drop it all on the ground. And we are just waiting for one minute and 40 to take this beautiful pasta out. We, we did spaghetti. But sincerely, I kind of like carbonara with the short pasta. <laughs> I just realized that I didn't have any short pasta. I have just long one. Just add a little bit of chocolate and it will be <laughs> delicious. Well, if you are in the kind of mix of salty and chocolate, uh, I kind of think that carbonara with chocolate would be an interesting mention. But you know what they do in Italy? Some, some crazy pizzaiolo. Pizzaiola is obviously the people that make pizza. They made uh, Nutella and pizza, which is kind of weird because like you never think about pizza to be something sweet, but uh, you know if you do it well, mwah, 
is the best thing in the world. Uh, I need to try it. I need to try it. I just found uh, the best pizzeria here in Barcelona, and uh, it's been a long time that I wasn't finding something decent. And uh, I'm gonna try their uh, their invention. Where are you from, uh, Jojo? And how are you doing? And I guess you like food, otherwise you wouldn't comment on chocolate. And now you make me think about chocolate. Damn, I still didn't finish the f eat the first, and you already tempted me with chocolate. From Egypt, oh, nice. How is the situation over there? And I guess the temperature is gonna be quite elevated nowadays. Even if it's not full summer, I'm start to feel the heat over here, which I guess is definitely not the same degree that you get over there. Like, uh, we are on uh, 27, I would say, 28, something like this, and then it gets hotter on 30, but not too much. I never visit Italia, but I wish could one day. I want to try the black pasta. Oh, you mean, uh, okay, let me explain about the black pasta. The black pasta, you don't have to buy the pasta that is black. I mean, they do it this way, but sincerely, what you want is normal pasta and then eat it with the octopus and with the ink of the octopus, and these make it black. And this is mwah, delicious. You can even do it with uh, some uh, squid because squid and octopus is very, very nice. I don't remember now what, what is the name of that kind of dish, but it's typical uh, in, in Italy. and. You know what is the fun of it? That when you eat it, all your teeth are completely black. And you are like, I love, I love this pasta. <laughs> and you have a black mouth, this, and it looks disgusting. But the taste is amazing. So, ooh, yes, we have one minute over. The pasta is ready. I need to take the other things that is behind here. Every second count, I don't want to be my pasta overcooked. What is your favorite dish, by the way? And we turn off the fire. We take the pasta. Oh, and before I do this, I forgot. I need to take a couple of spoons of this. Perfect. And we're gonna throw all the rest. Because we don't need it. Perfect. This is done. Spaghetti incoming. I don't want to dry too much because I want that wetness. You are the best. You are having the best moment, man. And and now we throw all the eggs in here. And one thing is that we have to do and we have to do faster is to keep mixing this because we want the eggs and you're not seeing any things are you because you have to mix all this fast and you put the eggs raw you don't cook the eggs and the heat of the pasta itself is gonna make the sauce of the spaghetti being cook with the heat of the pasta and the water with the, the amido or amid that the pasta lose in the water. So as you can see, you can see that they start to appear some little pieces of cooked eggs and, and repeat, it's because of the heat of the pasta. So I need to do faster than this and I need to mix it with this other one. So because we want to the all the spaghetti get it all the eggs get mixed properly perfect it looks quite quite mixed perfect the bacon is inside perfect and now we need to let it rest a little bit because we need the heat of the pasta to, to, to preparing the next I will do some uh, french frying that I will put in omelette, then we'll put spicy sauce everywhere and put an omelette inside the omelette. Oh, I never heard of this. 
uh, is, a, is a kind of particular way to do it. Uh, seems interesting. Seems interesting. I never seen that kind of dish. In my while, I will add some black pepper. Uh, but like the only question I would say is what kind of spicy sauce? You make your own sauce or you put a kind of chili? Like what kind of things that make it spicy? That would be my question. Because you can do the things of spiciness in different way. Just chili pepper or jalapeno. But I don't think it's gonna be jalapeno. Or you can put a extremely chili or already made uh, chili sauce but like at the end you are describing me something that in Spain they do which is called a tortilla which is the fried potato not the french fry but you do fried potato and you do it with eggs and onions and you cook them and you cook them uh, and then you have uh, what is called a tortilla only that is not spicy in this case but I understand because you want to have the middle which has the nice crunchy bits while outside is interesting I think what I did before was uh, a mix of uh, I put real chips real chips with the eggs and the real chips obviously keep it crunchy and I make an omelette like this I didn't put spicy sauce. I think they may be Japanese, they like to experiment, experiment more with uh, how it's called it, with the, with the sauce and uh, and eggs. In fact, there is the okonomiyaki. It sounds very bad, but it's a kind of uh, tortilla, but it, they put instead mayo and ketchup. Which for me is a crazy combination of mayo and ketchup, but it works. It really works. I put some arisa with some pepper that have been cut. Arisa, I don't know arisa, but I'm gonna check it out. Now you make me curious. Like for example, I might tell you a sacrilege to be in Italian. I like on my pizza chips and hot dogs. And it's normally, it's a kind of dish that uh, you do it for the kids because kids, they love hot dogs and chips, right? But on the pizza with a nice mozzarella, if you have a nice dough pizza, you do anything great. So, carbonara is done. I just like to add extra black pepper. And normally, I will put cheese, ma. my wife is intolerant, so I cannot. And I just want to show you the look of it. And as you can see in the camera, the eggs are kind of... They have this kind of yellowish flake. And this yellowish flake is what uh, the magic is all about. And I didn't cook the eggs. I just let it rest in here. And it's perfect. And now the only ingredient is the cheese. But I'm going to do it on a different dish. Look about these nice saucy feelings that eggs give, even if it's half raw. It looks amazing and I know they will taste freaking delicious. Just want to try to get some of the tasty salty bacon in it. Perfect. And now the last thing is just like the goat cheese, the pecorino romano. Sprinkle on top. And this is the dish. Welcome to the carbonara recipe. Homemade, something simple. No, not too, too crazy. Now, the only thing I have to do is to cover this so when my wife, I think this is too big, this is too big. So when my wife come back home, 
should have something like this, simple plate on that will keep it warm. This is in the sink. Everything will be washed later. And I like it because I like it. I like always to put a, a touch of extra virgin olive oil just at the end. That's it. To give it as well some nice color to the toppings. I don't know if you can still see the olive oil that make everything even more golden. And I freaking love black pepper. <laughs> I'm not stopping putting black pepper in here because I like the spiciness of black pepper. And nothing guys, that's it. That's the, the, the dish. I'm not usually streaming uh, cooking, but uh, sometimes I really want to cook something and I feel like I want to share it with the others. Uh, it's just, just because it's fun. Uh, I do a lot of gaming, so I'm gonna stop. I need you to eat this beauty. I think it will be rude for me to eat in front of you the pasta dish. So I'm not gonna do that yet, but one day uh, I will have a proper phone going out online and uh, I will show proper dishes all, all, all around, just like for the moment now. For the moment I feel this a bit too much. But thank you everyone for coming around, hope you enjoy, hope you can do a follow. I'm gonna stop over here, I'm gonna carry on later on today to play some uh, Satisfactory with the great uh, Alias bot and I hope you will be here. It will be like uh, uh, UTC time plus one uh, around eight o'clock. See you and goodbye. And thank you for staying around. Do 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 do. If I only knew how to stop. Oh, I know how to stop. There is a huge button in here. Eee.